After delays in the case that stretched on for months, justice was handily served to disgraced fashion designer Peter Nygaard this morning in a Toronto courtroom. The 83-year-old learned his fate after being convicted on four counts of sexual assault in November. Global News Crime Specialist Catherine McDonald joins us now with more on the decision. Good afternoon, Catherine. Hi, Candace. Well, after 10 months since the day that Peter Nygaard was convicted on those four counts, today Justice Robert Goldstein sentenced Peter Nygaard to 11 years in prison. After time served, he has 6.7 years left on his sentence, at which point he will be 89 years old. But the judge pointed out that he will be eligible for parole, for day parole after 21 months and for full parole after 27 months. Now, the judge uh, called Peter Nygaard a sexual predator he said that he is a Canadian success story gone wrong. He called this man uh, someone who used his wealth, power and profile to prey on his victims. Uh, one of the reasons that Goldstein said that Nygaard was able to commit these offences is because of his high status in the community. It gave him access to young women he was able to prey upon. He used his impressive downtown Toronto building, uh, the prospect of travel in his private plane and his obvious status to lure these women there. Uh, these were all women who uh, thought that they could men be uh, men mentored by Mr. Nygaard. They thought that they might be uh, going there for a job interview. And uh, Nygaard had this building, uh, a private bedroom suite where he had access uh, and no one else had access. And he was able to trap these women. He also spoke about the fact that Nygaard, uh, these sexual assaults happened in a time where wealthy, powerful men thought they were immune from conviction. Uh, all these women uh, spoke in their victim impacts about how they were afraid of coming forward to authorities because it would be uh, their word over his and uh, friends and family told them uh, that they would be humiliated and embarrassed. In fact, these sexual assaults left these women uh, degraded and humiliated. Many of them said that the, the fact they had to come here and testify against him was equally as humiliating. I'm just going to repeat here, Peter Nygaard sentenced to 11 years in prison. The Crown had been asking for a 15-year sentence, the defence for a six-year sentence. Uh, there was a little uh, noise in the courtroom as the sentence was read out, uh, as he was wheeled out in his wheelchair. The judge also didn't buy the fact that he was subjected to harsh conditions in jail. In fact, Justice Goldstein said that uh, Peter Nygaard was given special treatment, if not very special treatment. Uh, he begins to serve his sentence, and uh, now he will be uh, transferred from a provincial jail, the Toronto South Detention Centre, to a federal penitentiary. And once again, he will begin serving this sentence. Candace, back to you. Okay, Catherine, thanks so much. And this is not the end of Nygaard's legal troubles, as he's also facing charges in New York, Quebec and Manitoba, all for allegedly sexually abusing and trafficking women and underage girls.